Hey, John Riggs here. How you feeling? Me. And we have for you a new segment on this channel. And I think we're going to give it a shot, see if it works. Because uh, I like talking about news, but sometimes I'm not always the best news guy because I'm not looking into rumors. I'm not looking into things. I'd rather just talk about it. Got to throw it out there that it exists and we'll come up with our own theories, whether it's true or not, man. You got it? All right, and this, since we're not going to do any editing on this either, I have my um, my portfolio here of all the things we're going to talk about. We're going to kick it off immediately with the uh, PlayStation Classic saying that some of the games are going to run at 50, uh, 50 uh, hertz here. What happens is um, in other countries like Europe, it, oh, yeah. it runs at 50 instead of 60. Now here it runs at 60, but what do you think if something runs at 50 instead of 60? Like less of a Sadness. number. Sadness. Sadness is a good answer. It might run a little slower. So they're saying some of the games on here, like Tekken 3, for instance, might run at 50, uh, 50 hertz instead of 60, which means that it might be a slower game. Um, good news for me, because I suck at Tekken. <laughs> so I have time to react better, but then if I hit my button, maybe it'll respawn slower. So hard to say how it's going to go. I still have full hopes that the thing will be hackable. So hopefully looking forward to this, and even though some of the games might be the PAL version of the game running at 50, maybe it's because the emulator itself, maybe it's because the emulator itself can't run Tekken 3 at 60, so it has to run at uh, 50. That's the reason why they chose the PAL version over the US version. That's probably it. Hmm. But with the PlayStation Classic, it's like the NES Classic or Super Nintendo Classic, but it's a little tiny, cute little PlayStation, and it has 20 games on there. Things like, uh, like Twisted Metal and Jumping Flash with the Bunny, Okay. Are you gonna Are you gonna play it? No. You're not gonna play it? No. no I, I like the racing game. There's, There's a racing game on there. There's Ridge Racer. There's a different racing game. Oh, I'm talking about the Nintendo Switch. We're not talking about the Switch racing game. I don't care. We're not talking about Horizon the Turbo Chase. I don't care. Oh, well, don't I know what you're doing. Horizon Chase Turbo. I know what you're doing in this um, video. Okay. You're just teaching me about video games. I'll try it anyway. All right. <laughs> PlayStation Classic lore, the PlayStation <laughs> PlayStation came out in 1995. Oh, jeez. Knowledge! Ugh! Ten years before you were born. Are you going to check out the PlayStation Classic? I'm getting one. It's full of 20 I games. Could, I, could, I could look at it. I could look at it. You'll, you'll look at it? Yeah. I'm not going to play anything, but... You're not selling it for me. Anything. Everyone else is hating it. They're canceling the pre-orders. I'm keeping my pre-order because I have faith in it. I mean, I could have faith in it. Okay. Well, I mean, like, at least you're going a different path. Be creativity. All right, that's fine. All <laughs> Be right. creativity. Moving on. We have the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. Here's my little... That's my mini N64. And I drew a picture of the sun in the corner because I had room. Um, a lot of people are... Like, Reggie apparently came out saying, It's not Yay! happening. Reggie. Different Reggie. Different Reggie. Dang it! The other Reggie. The Reggie at Nintendo says it's not happening. I'm still saying that it is happening because Nintendo's done this before. What we have... You know the word with Jaren... We have our, uh, my son Jaren has autism, and we have a word called the redirect. You know what redirect? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that you have to like redirect him to the like subject. Like if he's if he's doing something else, you redirect him to focus on what's important. So what Reggie's doing about the Nintendo sixty four Classic Edition, he's like it, he's being a public information officer. He's the guy, the police officer in front of the burning building, saying "Move along, nothing to see here." What Reggie's doing is don't worry about that. Focus on Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Focus on all these other the holiday releases. Focus on Pokemon this Christmas season. And after that's over with, I think we're gonna start seeing maybe a little bit more about the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. I don't think they're just gonna throw it away. Can I tell this? Story? I would like I would like to um, uh, Smash JT mention that what if they had uh, the 64 the 64 edition instead of it being on a Classic Edition? What if it was just a Switch cart like a like a, a game for Switch that had was full of games? I'd be I'd be down for that too. I just want to say something to you guys. Okay. Believe. Believe in that this could happen. You like the Nintendo awesome. 64? Uh, yeah. You like Pokemon Snap? With, yeah. with this beautiful drawing of... Um... The best drawing you ever saw in your life. I know I whipped these up about two seconds before we started filming. Next, it is A-OK -okay to, uh, to do some videos on YouTube about Nintendo. Now, I was once upon a time a Nintendo <laughs> brand ambassador. That meant nothing when it came to getting my videos demonetized. I was a brand ambassador, got some early uh, copies of games. That was back, you know, when you'd say like, you know, this video is sponsored by Nintendo, or this, you know, this uh, this game is provided by Nintendo, and all that. And it was it was a fun experience. I was we were a brand ambassador for about a year. What does demonetize mean? Demonet well, monetize means there's money involved. Demonetize means they take away the money. Now, as a brand ambassador, I was more about 
I just wanted to do some cool videos. Whether I make money on it, of course, that would be nice, but it's you know certainly not the end-all be-all. But a lot of people use YouTube as their primary source of income. So that, being demonetized is a huge, huge ordeal for a lot of these people. Yes, Laura? Is it kind of like um, Article 13 that's going to affect basically everything? I don't know, sweetie. Okay. About like memes. The, um, so what Nintendo is saying, they finally came out as of earlier today, just even a couple of hours ago, and they said we can actually make money, we can actually make so long as we're providing gameplay footage with creative commentary. We can't just say, here's the ending of the game, here you go. You can't do that. But if you're doing a let's play, that'd be okay. If you're doing a review, that would be okay. Um, they're, I thought we reviewed, um, you know... We reviewed a lot of, well, like, there's a ton of games here. They're yeah. saying it's not permitted to imply or state that the video is officially um, affiliated or sponsored by Nintendo. You can't do that because it's not. You're doing your own thing, but you can use their footage. You can use their game. You can capture your own footage. And now they're saying it's okay. Before to do that, you'd have to be part of their creative program. And the oh, creative yeah. program was they get half the money, you get half the... However, whatever the percentage was. It was like... Because YouTube, if you monetize, YouTube takes 40%. And then from your 60%, then YouTube take, like YouTube took or uh, Nintendo took like 20% of that or something like that. It has turned into a huge hassle. That's why a lot of the Nintendo reviews will be very minimal footage or just little quick clips and stuff like that. But with this, that's actually good news for YouTubers who are trying to trying to <laughs> make trying to trying to make a living or trying to get their YouTube channel started doing this thing. I yeah. love learning. Oh, well, beautiful! What about this? The new Made about PlayStation okay. Portable. A lot of people are saying it's happening. A lot of people are saying it's not happening. They're saying that there's some patents out there for what could be it's the, gonna next, happen. the next... It's going to happen. You're calling it right now. It's going to happen. Laura, what do you think? Yes or no? Uh, she says, ooh. <laughs> I have an idea. Uh, Correct answer. And there's people, say, there's people saying that it will use a cart-based system, much like the Vita does. What um, is the Vita? The Vita was the PlayStation Portable after the PlayStation Portable. It's a handheld PlayStation. Um, I have one. I never use it. I do use my place. I do use my PSP, and I still love my PSP Go of all things. And that's why I think that if this happens, if there is going to be the next PlayStation Portable, it will be digital only, like the PSP Go was. I'm going to predict that right isn't now. Isn't this kind of like the Nintendo Switch because it's portable? Well, it can be portable. This one was only portable. It's not like it's not like the PlayStation Four is portable, you know. But there'll be some functionality and maybe some cross platforming or something like that. Mm. What do you think they would call this one? The, the, the next PlayStation Portable. The last one was called the Vita, the PlayStation Vita. What's a good name for something like this? Mal. The PlayStation Val? No, Mal. Mal. PlayStation Mal, of course. Well, Laura, Laura, what do you think a hmm. name for something like this would be? This is not what it's going to look like, by the way. If it does, that'd be crazy. I'll keep this just in case. Well, maybe, you know, like, it would probably, like, have, like, a nice... Okay, it would be, like, kind of like the Wii U. You know, so I did like a better screen, and I bet it would also have YouTube, so that I did when you're on the road, and also yeah. it'll also have airplane mode, yeah. kind of Touch like the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so I think it would be the TGT. The TGT. No, what the PGT. PGT. Okay. Which would be a PlayStation? No, what is it? Yeah. PlayStation TV portable. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It may happen. We'll see. You never Hopefully. know. You never know. All <laughs> that right. sounds like a really good deal. Next up on oh, the news. Beautiful. We have Skyward Sword and the HD remake. Is it happening? Um, Nintendo <laughs> earlier today said it's not. Again, a redirect. We had. Uh, we had. Let, let's go down the list of. Um, let's go down the list of, play, of uh, Zelda games. We had uh, Ocarina of Time in HD. We had Majora's Mask HD. We had. Uh, we had Wind Waker HD. We had Twilight Princess HD. We're gonna see this. I've never played this. It came out for the Wii. I did not have the... I came out for the Wii, but I never had the advanced adapter or whatever. So even though um, I actually received it as a gift once upon a time... Um, once upon a time. Once upon a time, I couldn't I couldn't play because I didn't have the advanced adapter and I didn't want to buy it because I was cheap or something. So I ended up using the trade-in. <laughs> I, was cheap I had the receipt. Something. I used the, the trade-in credit to get something else. <laughs> Um, but I would like to play this game and without the, um, without the waggle controls mm -hmm. for the functionality. Although there'll probably be some for the Switch if you want. So I'm guessing this is going to happen for the Switch, maybe not even first or second quarter of 2019. But I wouldn't mind, I, I bet you might see this like late summer, early fall. Speaking of 2019. What's happening in 2019? Descendants 3! <laughs> As you can tell, she loves Moana. 
<laughs> and that's nothing on the last page. So that's all we got so far. Uh, so th this has been the the, the rig news of uh, the rigged news of this week. Ba -da -da -da. John Riggs here in, reporting. In, insert insert insert. <laughs> that, were, that was the intro. <laughs> okay, that sounds fine. Thank you for watching. If you have any more rumors or if you want to comment on any of these rumors, let us know down in the comments below. I have a trick. Okay, oh, and, and, we, and we're going to close it off with Lily's trick of the week. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to.